Oh my gosh. Hi guys. I feel like I have not been active in my YouTube channel. So many things have happened. I've been really busy. Um, <laughs> so I do apologize. I was not able to do my last paycheck for October. But just to sum it up real quick, I was able to save up $99 for October. And that has been deposited in the bank already. And so now I am recording my first check for November. And so let's just go ahead and get started. If you notice over here, you see this that says sofas. So we ended up purchasing some sofas and um, we paid most of it off, but we do still owe a bit, a bit of it. And so every end of the month, we're supposed to give $187 with 50 cents. And that's only going to be for three months, three to four months. I need to check that, but I'm going to be doing that. And so, yeah, that's what's kind of new, what's going on. Also, I wanted to go ahead and address the whole beeping sound for the fire system. Okay, so I told my husband about it. I told him that one of my subscribers, you know, Angie, thank you so much, brought it to my attention, telling me that it's a little bit distracting. So he would he went and he pulled it apart and he took out the battery and for some reason it's still beeping without the batteries. This has never happened to us. We used to live in an apartment and just by pulling out the battery, it would like stop beeping. Tell me why this still beeps. I closed all the doors from the room. So literally the beeps you are hearing is the one that we have in the living room and the one right here in the office. I do not know why they beep so much. I didn't really notice it until, you know, I saw the comment by my subscriber. My husband did try. I'm going to insert a clip here. We're trying to shut these things up <laughs> for the videos. <laughs> the battery is off already, but it still beeps. What is going on? We don't know what they are. So yeah, I don't know how to temporarily shut them up <laughs> for me to do the videos, but I do apologize if they are distracting. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this so that way we won't, you know, waste any more time. So for my first check of November, I got $332, okay, with my part-time check. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some magic with this money. Okay, so I already did all this and put the 332 here. So now I'm going to go ahead and write down how much we are going to be putting on each category. Okay, 332 is what we are starting with. The first thing I'm going to do is tithe. And tithe, I'm going to put 32 towards tithe. So minus 32 leaves us 300. Gas for the car gets the usual $15. So minus 15. We have 285 now. House maintenance. We're gonna good put the good old five bucks. So minus five. And then grocery. I'm gonna do 40. So minus 40. We have 240 left. And then couches, like I said, 187.50 a month. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do $47 each week instead of cents and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our sinking funds I have 193 left so this is done it's good to go close I'm gonna do 60 60 for close we have 133 so I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 for family fun and then birthdays, my daughter's birthday. I'm gonna go ahead. This is the last, um, the last money I'm putting in towards birthdays because I'm gonna deposit it already. What I was able to collect and start ordering um, her things for her party. So yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so now 103 minus the $10 for birthdays leaves us with 93. Spending, I'm not putting anything towards spending this week. School, going to do 15 because we have been pulling out of that envelope. So $15, now we have 78 left. Christmas gets the 50. And now we have 28 left. Um, I have some, you know, this is starting to build up. I'm going to do 10 this week. Usually been putting 15. And then we have 18 left over towards savings. And so now I am going to go ahead and do the breakdown really fast. Okay, so I did the breakdown off camera. Just, you know, do it really quickly. Okay, now let's go ahead and make sure that this is correct. So two fives is 100 plus six twenties, which is 120, plus eight tens, which is 80, plus four fives, which is 20, and then 12 ones, which is 12, gives us 100, I mean, $332. Okay, so now we go to the bank and you write this down on a piece of paper and you tell them that you want your money in these dimensions. I'm going to go to the bank real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have all of the dimensions here already. All right, so now that we have this, I am, I have my envelopes here on the side and ready. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is tithe. And I put here that in tithe, I am going to do $32. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that, highlight that. $32. So I'm going to get a $20, a $10, so $20, $30, and then $1, $32 towards tithe. There we go. Nice and stuff. The next one, you know, this one doesn't have an envelope. I just put it as soon as I get my money. The next one is house maintenance, which gets the good old $5. And once this envelope feels pretty thick, I'm going to deposit in my savings account. So house maintenance, $5. Groceries, we have some change here. I guess I'll stop writing how much I'm putting towards groceries because I've been using it lately. The holidays are coming and I'm baking and things like that. So I'm going to do two 20s for $40 for groceries. There we go. And then next is sofas. I have an envelope. Um, I just don't have it labeled uh, because this is only for three months. So I want to save this envelope for something else. Okay, so for sofas, I'm going to do two 20s, 20, 40, a 5, 45, and then $2, 46, 47. So here goes our first payment for the sofas. All right, in you go, son, in you go. At the end of the month, I'm going to deposit this. All right, pretty big envelope <laughs> compared to my other ones. All right, and so our expenses are ready. Next, I'm going to do clothes. So clothes, like I said, has been getting used. Look at that. Got some change here. Clothes is going to get $60. So I'm going to do a 50 and a 10. $60. In you go. Okay, so we did close. Let's go ahead and highlight that for you guys and for me because I'm forgetful. <laughs> Next is family fun. Family fun is going to get $30 and this has been used. So I'm going to do a 20 and a 10. $30. So here we go. 20 and a 10. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight family fun. Birthdays is next. 
like I said, this is the last money I'm going to put towards birthdays. So here is everything. It says I have 165. I don't really remember if I have this up to date. So we're just going to have to count right now. So on November 1st, we're adding our last 10, which should be $175. So let me get my 10. And then I'm going to go ahead and count it just to make sure that it's $175. And let's hope I count correctly this time. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 165. <laughs> I guess not. I guess I don't have it up to date. But that, just, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know what? We're just going to leave it like that. I'm not even worried because <laughs> my husband's going to put money towards her birthday party. <laughs> so we're just going to leave lights. this like that. That is ready. Oh. <laughs> I just recounted this and it is 175. Look, 20, 40, 60. 80, and then 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 135, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 175, 80, 85. <laughs> count this because 20 40 60 80 and 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 160 and then 175 what is wrong with me <laughs> Working night shift really, really messes up with my brain. Like, I can count, you know? Oh. <laughs> it says the person that can't count <laughs> properly. Oh, my God. I don't know. Like, I literally just woke up. Like, I wake up and I go ahead and start calculating. And then I go to the bank and I come back. And, yeah, I guess I just work up my brain too much. I don't know. Anyways, on the good side, it is 175. It is up to date. No money is missing because I knew I was writing down everything. So I was confused. I'm like, no, let me count this because this is not making sense. But thank God it is right here. It's good because it would bother me. Like it would literally be in my mind. No, I know I was writing it down. Okay, so 175 plus what my husband is going to give me for my daughter's birthday. She's good to go. So birthdays is set. Next would be my spending envelope, but that is not going to get anything. No, no, no. Not this week's spending. School. Let's go ahead and get my school envelope. And this has nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> it has nothing because, like I said, mm -mm. It's just, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do a 10 and a 5. Or you know what? I'm going to do 10 and then one five fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? No, 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 no. Let's not touch those. I'm just going to do a 10 and a 5. So a 10 and a 5 towards school. Because I have my 18, and so there should be eight ones here. Okay, so we're just not going to mess that up. Christmas gets the usual $50. So let's go ahead and get this paper out. So we have 575 So on November 1st, we are adding $50. And let me go ahead and use my calculator for this one. So 575 plus 50 Gives us six hundred and twenty-five dollars. Six hundred and twenty-five dollars. Hello, ten. Okay, six twenty-five. So now I'm gonna add it to this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's 625. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600, this should be 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Perfect. $625 towards Christmas so far. And we still got all November and part of two weeks of December to save up. But I'm probably going to start grabbing money out of this to start buying some presents. Because I'm going to work for Thanksgiving night um, around 10 p.m. Uh, my shift is from 10 p.m. And... Um, I'm not going to be able to go Black Friday shopping, which is something I was looking forward to. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start buying Christmas presents so that way I won't have a hard time looking for presents. Okay, giving is going to get $10. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to add a 10. Okay, so $30 towards giving. Perfect. And now our last one is savings. So savings is going to get $18. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my savings envelope. And this is the first money that's going to go in here. On November 1st, we added $18. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. See, if I would have grabbed those ones, it wouldn't have added up over here. $18 towards savings. And that is my last envelope, guys. Finally, I feel like I can breathe every time. Every time I stuff my envelopes, I feel like I can properly breathe just because everything is at its place. So here are my envelopes, nice and stuffed. Starting with tithe all the way to savings. That's how they're looking like. And so tithe stays in the save, save grocery, wallet, sofa, save close wallet family fun wallet safe 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 okay safe all right and then all of these go into my jar my big old jar Okay, so there goes another video of cash envelope stuffing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, an amazing day. I hope you guys stay safe and, you know, um, get some motivation here in organizing your money. Because like I said, I do get paid a little bit. Um, but guys, I have been able to do so much. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that and please subscribe to the channel leave comments below angie again thank you so much for your comment about the fire system <laughs> please help us out i'm just kidding um we are trying to see what we're gonna do about that um if we can't figure it out i just apologize i apologize one million times for that i didn't notice the sounds to be honest um, but yeah, guys, remember that a little goes a long way. Bye.